Hi kids, welcome to Drag Story Time. My name is Michelin, London's youngest drag queen, and today I'm going to be reading Tuesday is Daddy's Day by Elliot Kirloff. I'm lucky I have two rooms. I have a room at my dad's house and a room at my mummy's house. My room at my mummy's house is blue and I have a big comfy bed. My room at my daddy's house is pink and I have a snug loft bed. On Mondays and Wednesdays, I stay with my mummy. Daisy does too. Look how cute that dog is. Today is Monday. Mummy picks me up after school and we walk home. She says it's good exercise. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, Daisy and I stay with Daddy and Harry. Daddy picks me up after school and we take the bus. Daddy likes to take the bus. So do I. I would too, trust me, I would too. Walking. Sometimes I spend Friday and Saturday and Sunday with my mummy. Mummy likes to take me to the park. I like the swings the best. Sometimes I spend Friday and Saturday and Sunday at Daddy and Harry's. Daddy and Harry like to take me shopping. We always pass my favorite shops. When I stay at Mummy's, we eat dinner together. Just Mummy, Daisy, and me. Mummy always makes noodles with butter and cheese, my favorite. Sometimes she makes me eat broccoli, yuck. When I stay with Daddy and Harry, we eat dinner together. Daddy, Harry, Daisy, and me. Daddy and Harry cook weird things, like artichokes, pasta, with green pesto. Yuck. Daddy makes noodles with butter and cheese for me. He also makes me broccoli. Double yuck. Broccoli is gross. At Mummy's house, I sleep in my big bed with lots of pillows. Mummy cuddles me and reads me stories. How much do I love you, says Mummy. I spread my arms this much. Mummy kisses me and Daisy, good night. At Daddy's house, I sleep in my loft bed, snug as a bug in my rug. Daddy always says, Daddy climbs up the ladder and reads me one bedtime story. He reads in different voices and makes funny noises. How much do I love you, says Daddy. I spread my arms this much. Daddy kisses me and Daisy goodnight and climbs down the ladders. Today is Tuesday. It's Dad's day. My mummy is here instead. Daddy, Daddy had something special to do today, says Mummy. I'm going to take you to his place. He'll be home soon. No! It's Tuesday. It's Daddy's day. He's supposed to pick me up. I want Daddy. I'm not going with you. Aw, that's so sad. Mummy sits down next to me. Whenever you're ready, Mummy says. How about... We take a taxi. I love taxis, way more than buses. <laughs> okay, I say, but I'm still in a bad mood. And so is Daisy. In the taxi, I wonder, where could Daddy be? What if he got eaten by a big bad wolf disguised as a grandma? Or kidnapped by a pirate? Oh my god, could you imagine being kidnapped by a pirate? Or beamed up into flying saucers by Martians? Or maybe he's a spy on a secret mission. Where is Daddy? I ask Mummy. It's a surprise, says Mummy. I don't like surprises. I like everything to stay exactly the way it's supposed to be. When we get to Daddy's, Harry is home, but Daddy is not. Where is Daddy? He's on his way, 
says Harry. I got to my room, climb up into my bed, and cuddle with Daisy. Are you hungry? Harry asks. No. Where is Daddy? I ask. Daisy. Tap, tap, tap. And knock on the door. Hello? Anyone home? Anyone in there? It's Daddy. Tap, tap, tap. I have a surprise, he says. I don't like surprises. I hear the door open. A small furry box pops up onto my bed. The puppy licks the tears off my cheeks. Aww. Daddy climbs up and we're all squished together. Me, Daisy, Daddy, and the puppy. Surprise, says Daddy. Yep, yep, yep. Time to eat, Harry calls. Noodles with butter and cheese. Enough for everybody. Another surprise. Mummy is staying for dinner. What will you name her? Mummy asks. I know. I'm going to call her... Surprise. How cute that is. She got her little surprise in the end. The end. Hello everybody, my name's Lita, and today we're going to be reading the book called The Bear's Medicine, written and illustrated by Clayton Gauthier. The light warms our backs as we wake. We are grateful for each breath we take. We wander down the mountainside to where the medicine grows. We love each drink we take giving thanks as the season awakes. We clean our paws as the next meal awaits. The grass and roots we share make us healthy. Playing in the grass, we watch the grandfathers pass. We walk in beauty every day, giving thanks in every way. Sweet tastes of colors are a part of our culture. The trail we walk on today, our ancestors have shown us the way. We gather together with our strong bloodlines. We greet new family with honor. Our friends clean up what is left to share. The sun shares his warmth for a short time. The white blanket will keep our medicine warm. We love our mother's medicine like no other. The end.